Hi everybody, welcome to Fossil Hunting and Collecting with Chris. Today I want to tell us about a really wonderful place that I hope you get a chance to visit. It's located in central New York. It's called the Paleontological Research Institute. Now, if you've been there, you're probably already in love with this place. And if you haven't been there, it's really a must see. It has just a really incredible selection of pretty much of all the Paleozoic and later periods represented through fossils. Actual fossils kind of put together in collections of different time periods. So it's really making an immersive display of the different time periods of our Earth and the fossils that tell their story. It is a wonderful place. It has a whole lot of really incredible features. It has a stairwell that takes you down into deep time. You actually walk down the stairwell. It has a mosaic chronology of all the different representative fossils from different times. So you get to walk down the staircase, see all these different things. This is just a art interpretation of them. You get to see the actual fossils coming up into the rooms, all located subterranean, all located in the mostly underground portion of the building. This pavilion that we're walking into was actually built about 20 years ago. It was planned for a long time. There actually is an older structure where the fossils and exhibits were originally held. The new pavilion is about 20 years old. First of all, on the upper floors, you're going to see a enormous whale skeleton. And across from it is a really nice gift shop. And the gift things in the gift shop are quite affordable. They're not like you know, a typical museum gift shop. They have a lot of things that are made by local scientists and uh, publications. And there's also a lot of things for kids. There's plush toys. Their plush toys are famous. The Paleo Pals that they tend to make them. I have a whole collection of them myself. They make them in limited numbers and once they're gone, they're gone. So you really have to try and, and catch them. So here's what I'm talking about, those paleo pets, the way I use them in school. I have this box that I keep in my classroom on top of a cabinet, just kind of nonchalantly sitting up there and usually nobody pays too much attention to it. They see the time travel stuff written on it and think of it as a cartoon reference, but there's actually something more to it. I asked one of the students to go ahead and pull the box down and pull something out. And when they do, they get, they find one of these paleo pets from the time period that we're studying. This one would be from the Cambrian. This, and maybe we can also find a nice trial bite from the Cambrian as well. And so I passed these around in the classroom. And then when we were all done, we'd put the Paleo pets back in the box and I put it back up on the shelf and at night I would switch them out. So the next day I go ahead and pull out the time travel box again and ask the student to go ahead and pull out something from inside and this time it would be something from a different time period. We'd have a paleo pet or two, in this case from the Ordovician. We can do that for Silurian the next day and so on. So it's actually kind of a fun way to introduce the different geologic time periods to the students with these paleo pets that come from the Paleontological Research Institute's Museum of the Earth in Ithaca. But they have a really nice uh, gift shop. They don't serve food on the premises, but they actually do. There is a hospital cafeteria down a path within walking distance with a really nice cafeteria where you can eat there. What they do have, though, is a couple of really nice immersive activities. They have fossils out where you can actually go and uh, with a using their small hammer and chisel, pop out some fossils. I think it comes from the Pendixie site in New York. And uh, they actually have blocks with little trial bites and other things uh, where people can pop them out and collect a couple of fossils. You can also see the professionals over in a professional paleontological lab preparing some of these fossils. Some of these fossils that may go on display here or maybe at other locations. But you can watch them, professionally prepare them, ask them questions. They usually have a few people on staff that'll be very happy to talk to you about them. What I like most though is their 
walk through chronology. We can walk through these different time periods. You start out with a little film room where they just tell you about the beginning of the Earth and its earliest history. And then that takes you right into the uh, Precambrian and then some of the different Paleozoic time periods. Here we can see how well represented they are. Lots of really nice fossils that really tell you what's going on in these different periods. When you get to one of the periods, I think it might be the Jurassic, they have a really nice stegosaur sculpture that actually was in the 1904 World's Fair. And it's been restored and it's just one of the things that you can see there. Most of the fossils are real, but you do get some scientific renderings of what these things would have looked like in real life. I think that this is so cool as well. Look at this giant mammoth skeleton. This was found, I believe this is from New York and it's part of the final part of the exhibit, the Ice Age area. And you get to see this mammoth and you get to walk through a tunnel in a recreated glacier. It looks kind of like it. Kids love it, it's fun. Uh, so you get to walk through the glacier and they have this really interesting film that shows you how the Finger Lakes were formed. Treating and advancing glaciers covered large areas of the Northern Hemisphere's continents. Now, this place where we're located is in Ithaca. I mentioned it was in central New York. It is not far from the Finger Lakes and that's a major glacial feature in the area. And this little film will tell you all about how they formed. Now you may wonder why I'm sort of promoting the Paleontological Research Institute. I'm not affiliated with it. They're not paying me or uh, otherwise rewarding me for promoting them. I'm doing this just because I love this place. And I also have heard that it's in a little bit of trouble. In the past, uh, when they built their new pavilion, a donor had promised them to give them a large sum of money every year. And my understanding is this uh, large donor has not come through the past few years, which has caused them to become behind in their mortgage. They had to cancel their summer camp that they do with uh, students, which is very unfortunate. And they also don't have funds to continue past December 2025. So there's really kind of a two reasons that I'm saying this. One, if you like paleontology and these sort of places, go now because we don't know what's going to happen in the future. And the other reason is, well, my hope is if enough people go see this place and uh, maybe some donors or other volunteers help out again, we can extend the life of this wonderful place. I really don't want to see it go the way of the Petrified Creatures Museum, um, a much smaller but wonderful little um, paleontological roadside attraction that uh, went extinct in uh, 2016. Now, this place is much larger, much more developed, and has much more to offer than the Petrified Creatures Museum ever did, but it's um, also in the same sort of danger. So please support them. They have a website. Like I said, this is not, I'm not affiliated with them. I'm saying this because I just want to see places like this be around for everybody. So take a look at the PRI, take a look at their website. Their website can tell you how to help out and how to order those uh, wonderful paleo pets, if you like those and other items while they're still in stock. So thank you so much for watching my video and for looking into this wonderful place. In the past, I've taken my science Olympiad teams there. They didn't charge me anything at all for bringing my classes over there. And they really have a lot of other wonderful events and activities for people. 
I hope you get a chance to visit it. Uh, as always, I ask that you please take a moment to go ahead and give me a thumbs up and comment on my, on my video. It really helps the channel. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Pretty soon we're going to get back to those fossil hunting expeditions, which I love to film and put on my channel. Thank you so much. Happy fossil hunting and collecting. Fossil hunting and collecting with Chris. Digging fossils, fighting fossils. Paleontology, trying to find science and evolution. Devotion, auto-vision, and we